Hello friends, you must be asking, what are they doing? Well, they are looking for remains of history, bones, objects from the past. Let's listen to Matthias. He's got more information about it. Exactly, students. We are going to study the past. We are going to deal with time measurement, historical sources, archaeologists, ages of history, timelines, and finally, where can we see the past? Time measurement. We divide time in past, before and now, present, now, and future, after now. We use clocks to measure seconds, minutes, and hours, and we use calendars to measure days, weeks, months, and years. Historical sources. Historical sources give us information about the past. Physical source, an object or a building from the past. Graphic source, an image or picture with relevant information. Auto source, information that passes from person to person over time. And a written source, a document that contains text or a written message. Archaeologists. They look for and study historical remains to find out about life in the past. First, they find places to look for remains. Second, they dig in archaeological sites. Third, they record the things they find on the site. And fourth, they analyze the remains and find out about life in the past. These are the ages of history. The first one is the ancient history, and it begins with the starting of uh, writing from human beings. Then we've got the Middle Ages, which started with the fall of the Roman Empire, the Modern Age, with Christopher Columbus' arrival to America, and finally the Contemporary History, which started with the French Revolution. Timelines. They show history in order. They include important events and when they took place. And here you can see an example of a timeline with the ages of history. You can see prehistory, ancient history, the Middle Ages, the Modern Age, and the contemporary history with images explaining everything. Where can we see history? We can see historical sources in museums and archaeological sites. Here you are some examples in Spain. Mezquita Catedral de Córdoba, Cueva de Altamira, or Teatro Romano de Mérida. Museums and archaeological sites are very interesting places, right? But remember, you are not supposed to touch any object, you can't shout, you can't run or jump in museums, and we are not supposed to eat or drink in there. Bye-bye, students. See ya!